Hello and good day everyone, how's it going? I'm Sean Davids, welcome back to a brand new episode. Let's talk some old school NBA. In today's episode, I wanna talk about how Dennis Rodman kept Shaquille O'Neal at zero points with an incredible defense performance. But before we get to that, I wanna give a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thanks a lot you guys for supporting the show, it's really appreciated. If you wanna support this show, please check out my Patreon account. All right, you guys, enough said, let's dive right in today's episode. Now let me take you back to the early 1990s when Shaquille O'Neal joined the Orlando Magic and became the most dominant force of modern NBA history. When Shaquille O'Neal was drafted with the first pick in the 1992 NBA draft by the Orlando Magic, the entire league was shaking. It's been a while that a rookie came into the league and automatically destroyed everything that was standing in his way. Even though the Orlando Magic were a relatively new franchise, everybody could see that Shaq and his team would be a force to reckon with. Even the best bigs in the league, like for example a Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon and David Robinson had their hands full with this sensational and powerful young big. Eight out of ten from the floor by Mike Price. He's got 20. A steal. Back to him. Yes. Yes! Shaquille! Back to him. Way to set him up, Scottie Pippen. We've been waiting on that. Great, great pass, Scottie Pippen. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I love it. This, what I'm about to tell you, was really a fact. Players really called in sick just so that they don't have to play against Shaquille O'Neal. Can you believe it? So when teams would prepare for games when they would play against the Orlando Magic, they would devise the legendary Hacker Shack tactic to put Shaq on the free throw line in order to at least stand a chance. Now let me fast forward to the year 1995, while Shaquille O'Neal was already the most dominant big together with Hakeem Olajuwon, there would be another team that would make a lot of noise. I'm of course talking about the Chicago Bulls and their newly acquired Dennis Rodman who was already known to be one of the best defenders of all time. Now when the Bulls would play the Orlando Magic, Dennis Rodman would get the job to defend Shaquille O'Neal. Even though he was a lot smaller, he would do a sensational well, Dennis job. Dennis Rodman has had some success with playing Shaq, even though Dennis only weighs about 218 pounds. <laughs> he has a strong low base, able to push Shaq a little bit further out than he wants. No double team came there. If the double is going to come, it's going to come from the strong side of the floor, from the passer that enters into Shaq. In 1996, Shaq joined the Los Angeles Lakers and was setting the base for a future dynasty. But the current dynasty were the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman and of course an incredible supporting cast. Seeing the Bulls play in the Lakers was always a treat but not always for Shaq. The game that I want to talk about was from the 17th of December in 1996. The Bulls were steamrolling through the league and the Los Angeles Lakers were a powerhouse in the Western Conference. 
conference. And in the first half of the game, the Los Angeles Lakers were destroying the Chicago Bulls, and especially Shaq was taking the Bulls' big small apart. Small Pippen. Back it goes to O'Neal, the little jump is good. Expected back in January. Suffered that shoulder problem while body surfing <laughs> in the Pacific Ocean. Ah, nice move, baseline for Shaquille O'Neal. Now Jones back up and on the floor. And O'Neal, nice pass and it's uh, it's good. Expanded now in the final two minutes of the first quarter. O'Neal, give and go, beauty. 12 point lead, it's in Scottie Pippen. It's a, Two coaches now guarding O'Neal. But it doesn't matter. That was a switch. The Bulls put Kukoc on Shaq, put Bill Wennington on Shaq, DK Simpkins. Well, it didn't work. 25 points in the first half just by Shaq alone. At one point, the Lakers were leading by 22. So in the first minute of the second half, Shaq dropped four points on Bill Wennington before Phil Jackson finally reacted and put Dennis Rodman on Shaq. And Rodman did what Dennis Rodman does best, defend the hell out of Shaq. You got any help from teammates back there? All right, Van Exel with it live under the shack. It's off his hands and go to Kukos. Yeah. Kukos it ends. I guess he had no choice. Jones takes it in low to Shaq. He's against Rodman. Bounce out in front of Van Exel. Dribble drive in deep. He ought to make that one. He blew it! He blew it! Rodman's got just reporting the game. He made a bad pass. The ball goes in low to Shaq. Shaq holds it up to be double teamed. Out of front of Scott. To Jones. And it's a three-pointer. Won't be close. Hit the bottom of the backboard. Nice total so far tonight. He's got 27 points and nine rebounds. He's made 12 out of 18 from the field. 23 of those 27 in the first half. Uh, throws the ball all the way to the baseline in the corner to Shaq. Boy, that pass has to be accurate. Shaq driving, comes in deep. Did he travel? No. Did he get fouled? No. Rebound is up. It goes to Jervis time. And United Center in the Windy City. Ball into Shaq. He's due for a basket. He comes in deep and gives to Kersey. 20 footer by the veteran. Not close. Rebound is off. Rodman's got it. Rodman in the rebound department now has 13. What defense? Lakers lead it by just eight. That's the closest Chicago's been. Van Exel throws it. Van Exel on the front court. Cross court pass to Campbell. 235 play. Shaq's only got two baskets in the half. Pass knocked away and out of bounds by Jordan. Chick, one, of the, one of the pro. Hi, Jones has got it. He's going to have trouble getting it in. Bad pass. Horrible pass. Foul is on Shaq. Two free throws Rodman coming. Rodman with the steal. Pippen with the shot. Yeah, and great defense by the Bulls. Smart foul. Smart foul by Shaquille O'Neal. Another guy who's not a great free throw shooter that no one talks about is Scottie Pippen. 60% for the season. Shaquille O'Neal has not scored a point since very early in the Third quarter, he's got 27. Maybe this is his time. The front court. Got yo-yoing up and down. Probably glad that there's no pressurizing the ball in the front court. Now the ball to Shaq. Shaq throws it away. Here we go. Pippen's got it. Give to Brown. Brown under the court. Got no good rebound to Campbell. Got no good rebound to Shaq. Four minutes to play. This is the strangest game one in certain spots that you'll ever see. Ball in the shack, 15 on the clock, out to Kersey. Kersey's going to the overtime, Van Exel. Van Exel stopped outside, three-pointer is straight, in and out. Rebound hit by Campbell out to Jones. Three-pointer, no good again. Rebound is up. Timeout is called by Rodman. Oh, that stupid Rodman. His teammates wrestling to the floor. Jordan picks him up by his jersey, said you want to cost us the ball game? Boy, oh, he could have cost his team the game. He got kicked out of the game? I don't think so. No. The Bulls came back from a 22-point deficit to get the game into overtime. Dennis Rotman hitting two crucial free throws, but even more important, he kept Shaquille O'Neal at only three shot attempts from the 22nd minute onwards, including the overtime. Incredible. 
Now you can say about Dennis Rodman what you want with all the crazy stuff that he has been doing, but when it comes to basketball and especially to defense, there's no one better than Dennis the Worm Rodman. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like if you enjoyed the content. I see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Take care and goodbye. This show is brought to you by Jam Time Machine Radio, the finest of old school black and pop music. Check out www.jamtimemachine.com and listen to nonstop old school black and pop music. Jam Time Machine Radio, more than just music.